I have one that I like call the one that got away. Why are they the one that got away? He won't let me love him. Ugh. Call an ex-lover and ask what went wrong. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. I am mad at you. Yeah, yeah. It's not because we're in this little thing that I said yes that I'd be like to be filmed that you're going to make me do everything that I want to do. Absolutely not. I am not doing that. You know why? Because I was a problem. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna lie, I got a few of those calls where that's facts. I have one that I like call the one that got away. Why are they what, the one that got away? He won't let me love him. Whoa! Oh! Ugh! Yuck! Ugh! 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 That's, that's, oof! I, I got full eyes up. Yeah, shut up! Poof! <laughs> I'm sorry, I had flashbacks to women like this. That, that's, that's, oh, that's, if, that's a, mm. If you've never had a woman, uh, listen, or you, a person, listen. ladies, maybe you can relate. If you've never had somebody try to force their love onto you, it is one of the most revolting things possible. When someone's so dead and you don't want it, but they that's, keep pushing, when they try to like give you affection and like them just touching you makes your skin crawl. Like, you're not just in oh. Silver Lake, okay? I just wanna love you, baby. <laughs> that shit, bro. That, but 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 that is, that's crazy. Doesn't want to let Th that me love him. Oh, that's sorry. That's crazy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, listen, I'm. If you're out there and you said that, that that is crazy. Hold if up. if someone doesn't want to interact with you, you always clinging to that person. It's crazy. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's let's play. Let's play. Let's hear why. It's the one you're most nervous to call. I have one that I like call the one that got away. Why are they what, the one that got away? He won't let me love him. What is it? Mental health. Mental health. It's very self-centered. The reason why I say that it's self-centered is that you really just think about yourself. Bro. About what you want. You don't care about the other... Fuck whatever the other person wants. But I know what's best for him. I know that what's best is us. And I really want... That is crazy. Bro, this is the first time someone's made me cringe so deep yeah. in my core. Yeah. My soul. Yeah. Bro. He won't let me love him. It's the not reciprocated feelings that it's just like, that's the one I want. Mental health. You said it. The not reciprocated feelings is the one I want. Ladies, how many times has a dude been on your case and you've never responded and this motherfucker got a whole chat just by himself? That's crazy. That's crazy. We dated when I was maybe 19. I haven't talked to him in a long time, so we'll see if he answers. Oh my God. If he answers, it's gonna be so weird. Cause that was a secret. His parents are just very, very strict people. He would like leave work to hang out with me. So. Let's see. Hello? Hey, Sig. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you guys, ladies, something, okay? If, if y'all used to date and y'all stopped dating and this has been a long time and you call out of nowhere, guys are thinking, she, she wants to fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had to call an ex and ask what you think went wrong with our relationship. <laughs> Sorry, uh, put you on the spot. <laughs> no, I'd say, um... You. No, I'd say, and then a bunch of bullshit's about to come out. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why it's gonna be a bunch of bullshit. Because usually you know. You know what we're wrong. It's not even that. What? What is it? Once you're done with somebody, you just don't want no problems. Telling somebody the truth normally involves a lot of problems. Yes. And I'm not even trying to build a relationship with you no more. And people think they can't handle it. So why am I going to sit here and argue or try to play therapy or try to do this whole thing of like, this is how you're fucked up when I don't want you in my life no more. You know what the worst thing I've is? I've had people, uh, just, Go ahead. I yeah. had people come up to me years after, right? Mm -hmm. And like the way they were, like us, us breaking up was so like drawn out, like they just didn't want to. And then they asked me and I'm like, do I want to emotionally invest myself no. into somebody I don't even want to see again? No, absolutely. And so that's why you would just be like, listen, sometimes I'll just say it's me. 
I'll just say I'm the problem, even though, just listen, I've definitely fucked up in some of my relationships, and I take full accountability. I've apologized to these individuals. I've hit them up without them asking. I'm cool with that. It doesn't matter. Because I had to apologize for some shit, right, in my own reflection. And there's other times where I'm like, no, this bitch was crazy, or she was acting a little wild and she don't want it, but it's fine. And I'm just like, I'm the problem. Want to know why? Because I'm not going to lie. It's not you. It's me. Works. People say shit's corny. That shit works. When I want to move on sometimes, it's me. I'm stupid. I need therapy. I'm retarded. Let me go home. Just leave me the fuck alone, please. And For the love of God, I don't want to be drawn out in this. Go ahead. And I think that happened is that sometimes they don't want the truth. And when they ask for the truth, you give them the truth. They think you're lying. And now you have to explain yourself that you're not lying to someone that you don't even want to talk to. It's a lot of energy spent for nothing. The fact that I was moving away for school. (laughs) Yeah. I think it was like my visa situation because if I had the opportunity to stay here, I think we would be something else. Do you know that I consider you for me the one that got away? Really? (laughs) Yeah, I know. Well, I appreciate it. That is the that is that is the way that you keep someone at bay that is crazy. Well, I appreciate it. If I say anything else, yes! this bitch. Absolutely! And you wanna know something, preach? Come back here. Okay? When you see it, it's gonna hit you. Okay? You ever had a lemon in your mouth and just sucked on the juices? Yeah. Whenever you got your guard right here and you try to keep a motherfucker at bay, like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, yeah. Yeah, I know your reach. Yeah. I know your reach. Yo. I know your reach is smaller than mine. Yo. So I'm just going to keep you at bay. And then I'm going to put that shit in your hand and hang up on you. Do you ever think about me? Yeah, I mean, you come up sometimes. I love thinking about those memories. I love seeing the pictures. Like the wedding we had gone to. Yeah. All that stuff on the road trip to Portland. I don't regret any of it. Do you still find me attractive? Yes. Do you still find me attractive? Of course. Are you still seeing that girl, the girl? Um, we had just broke up yesterday. (laughs) I'm so sorry. (laughs) So, (laughs) you know. (laughs) My girl. If you don't take all your shit and get the fuck out of here, nobody believe you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you broke up with that bitch. <laughs> sorry, though. May nobody believe you. It's about to go damn. Fucking, 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 fucking. Deep, fucking, deep inside, fucking, deep, deep fucking, down inside. Fucking, Ow. fucking. Sorry, though. May nobody believe you. Call an ex-lover and ask what went wrong. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. This is not going to go well. Might just go straight to voicemail. <laughs> Hello. Kiana, I have to ask you a question. All right. I can already tell by the way she said what. Listen, listen, let me tell you guys. I can already tell by the way she said what that he put her through some bullshit. Absolutely. She is sick of him already. Yes. Why didn't it work out between us? Because you're full of shit. We knew that. No, no, that was it. Of course. The way she said what? The way she said what? Was screaming that. I mean, it wasn't just that. It was the way he was standing. And and, and he, the- he he looked he looked like a nigga on the first forty eight who got caught with a murder weapon and got offered some McDonald's. He gonna confess. And it's like, yo, confess. Nah, man, I'm not about to tell you that it was little Ray Ray. <laughs> well, here's a Big Mac. It was little Ray Ray, little Pookie, little Jim Jim. I got you some fries. <laughs> okay. Uh, is the, okay. Do you care to you care to go into that a little bit more? You bit off more than you could chew. How about that one? 
I did. You talked a good one, and uh-huh. then when the follow through came up, you were like, you know how the DJ scratches the record? Yeah, I mean, that's what I saw when I looked at my bank account. It says, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I bit off more than I could chew. Good God. This girl wants how much money from me? What do you say? This girl wants how much, much money? money from me? I don't know what that hey. means. I don't know what that means. But that sounded a little weird. Why did things not work out between us? Um, why do you sell my phone number? Woo! Oh, this shit is lit, nigga. Wow, this shit is lit. That's lit. That's lit. That's lit. I'm bringing that shit that's back. That's lit, lit. This is fire. That's lit. Oh, that is rude. Hey, hey, I don't know who that lady is, hey, but shit. that response, Immaculately. That dumpster fire hey, is really lit. How deep down like that? Oh, that Yo, fire is on. Fuck you still got my number. Oh yeah, that's good. Hey, shout that's out to her. Shout, shout out, out to her. You. I've definitely been on the receiving end of that call, so I know how that feels like. <laughs> Yo, why you calling me? Uh, uh mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I just I didn't delete it. Yeah, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Whoa! Perfect. Whoa! Let's hit that shit again. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> you know what he reminded me of? Antonio Banderas. That meme we was. <laughs> That's when you're expelling the yeah. L from the prefrontal cortex of God your brain. God damn, that was. Oh. Uh, yo, shout out to this guy for taking that shit on the chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I knew an ex hated me that much, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call in front of other people unless I'm no. making money. No. And I could, but no. I'm never going to do that because no. I, res- I don't, I just, I don't want to get embarrassed. Yeah, fuck okay. that shit. What do you want to know my situation for? Are you trying to get back with me? I came into some money and I think I might be able to afford to hang out with you. <laughs> I swear, if you were here in my face, I would punch the shit out of you and then leave. She has chosen violence today. She has chosen violence. No, I'm not even going to go that route, but... She don't want peace. I'm not going to lie. This is one relationship dynamic I'm not used to. I never had no sugar baby... I pay for everything kind of dynamic. So hearing them talk so candidly about money and that being the thing that they're bridging is very weird to me in form. Bye. Bye. Have a good life. Ah! At her, for her to react like that, she, she must have done a lot. She done done. Yeah, yeah. She done done. She mad, mad. Let's just stop here for a second. We'll do the second half another time. We can definitely do a second half another time. What the? Time. F- if you guys seven. want to see a part two to this and you guys enjoy today's video, let's see it. Let, let us know in the comments below. Leave comments. Engage with it. Leave a like. If this gets to 50k likes, we'll do a part two. Because this shit was wild. $700 date. Oh, by the way, dude who had to pay for the $700 date, if you see this, contact us. Or if you guys know who he is, tell him to contact us. We want to ask him questions. We might have $700 for him to go to a date. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to film that shit. Because, yeah, right. you know, we're going to get a punch 